Start, I do want to say that I do have a call for submissions going out right now for a anthology called Degenerates Voices for Peace. Uh, it's published several Houston poets and several poets all over the world, um, specifically Dustin Pickering, David Cowan, uh, and several other people. Yeah, Ken Jones. Uh, Bruce Boston. Yeah, Bruce Boston. The Bram Stoker winner in the poetry. Yeah, so I mean, there's, there's just a lot of people that have published. Weasel Press has published 10 authors last year. We were practically a freaking machine. <laughs> we are welcoming in three new authors this year and are still looking for, for people. Probably going to do about five new authors. Uh, anyways, the anthology is called Degenerates Voices for Peace, the social justice anthology, and the deadline is March 6th, 2014, uh, 2015. Uh, email me, I have flyers at my chair so you can just come see me whenever and I'll give you one. Uh, but yeah, March 6, 2015, Social Justice Anthology, any kind of social justice, free speech, domestic violence, uh, child abuse, just anything within that, that rack there. Uh, if you have a question on your topic, let me know, I'll get back with you definitely. First one I'm going to read. Tonight, it's called Philosophy. Piggly. Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly Squiggly Winks. What an odd combination of words. I doubt any of you can tell me what it means. And before you jump out of your chair in enlightenment, let me tell you. Yes, I know what it means. You see, I'm the one that gave it meaning. The guy that took pen to paper and said that these words are as holy as the Bible itself. No offense. Great Jesus, piggly wiggly squiggly wings. You see, words are words. Stretching from our tongues. Meanings outsource. We are all from a whole other universe. And there's still days where we just can't understand each other. We throw words like knives. Expect people's skin to get thicker, but our skin isn't a wall to keep us from going over the edge. When I was first called a faggot, I felt every letter. The T was the first flush from draped across my cheek. I was less of a human, more into a wandering skin suit dancing panic attacks in the hallways to keep safe. I still remember cigarette burns on the floors, unanswered prayers, the ambience of our patients. I was made a terrorist because I became less of a man. Being less of a man means that God does not smile upon your misfortunes. Piggly flop, piggly drop, piggly stop, nothing. Now, I know you all have questions. That's why you're looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> but it's not crazy to believe that we all here collect words. Words are words. And the meanings are of an entirely different universe. Thank you. <laughs> this last one I'm going to read. Uh, I can get back to it. It's called Maybe We Were Children. When the leaves stole our imagination in the autumn and the river turned into a street corner full of cities and its cracks, the jazz man's solemn trumpet graces the footsteps of our past as they swam into rising waters. Someone called out for us. We heard them, but our ears never picked up on their voice. Maybe we were children sitting in the cool autumn river, you know, our past just floating around us. But we are ghosts, and ghosts never carry a pass. Thank you. <laughs> nice job, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.